I played the worst Final Fantasy games ever made. It's from the gaming shelf. Uh, I really enjoy their videos. So I wanted to react to this video and watch it with you guys. I have a feeling that I've played at least one of the games that's gonna be on this list. And the first game we're starting with is A King's Tale. Oh, we're starting with this. This one, I might actually end up playing this one. The game is a fairly straightforward beat em up. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I, I love games like this. Like I love side scroller beat em ups. Like, so maybe I'll like it. Maybe it's, maybe it's not that bad. Now what's cool is if you target an enemy that's far away, you can actually use a warp strike like in the main game. And it's just as fun and feels really good. And that's eventually pretty cool. you can unlock the ability to use magic like fire, ice, and lightning. And also call in one of three different team members to help you out if you do a high enough combo. What? This this game looks great. What are you guys talking about? I didn't finish it and I deleted it and all this and that. You guys are being dramatic, man. What's this? This looks good. However, while your moveset does increase as the game goes on, it isn't that big. So by the mm. end, the game feels pretty repetitive, even though it's only like 90 minutes long. Now the final boss was- What? It's only 90 minutes long? Come on, bro. How, how can it really get repetitive in an hour and a half, man? Nah, man, you guys are going too hard on this game. It was fun in the beginning. You know, all it's got is the beginning. There's no middle or end. It's just, it's a 90 minute game. It literally is just a beginning. This whole game is shorter than the, the demo for Final Fantasy 16. It felt longer. See, I, 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 I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be a good boy. I'm, I don't want to get banned. I don't want to give my editor. I don't want to give him ammo to use against my ass. So I'm not going to say any of the 12 jokes that came to my mind when you said that, but I'm just saying 90 minutes, psh, it's a snack. It's a snack game. Now, mm. currently the game has a 65 on Metacritic. Oh. If I were to give it a score, I'd probably- I, 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 Go back. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Go back. Chat, you see, you see this? What is this? What, 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 what is this? 8.4 from 260 users 65 based on five critics they didn't even they didn't even take the time bro like what we can't we can't pay any attention to this chat it's certainly not one of the best final fantasy games of all time but i don't know if it deserves to be one of the worst either next mm, up we have there we go well there there it is there's the final verdict yeah it doesn't deserve the hate that it gets so if I end up playing Final Fantasy 15 and I have to play that game, I'm sure it will knock it out easy peasy. Final Fantasy 2, specifically the PSP port. Now mm. I've actually beat Final Fantasy 2 thanks to the Pixel Remaster Collection. And considering that I put it at the very bottom of my Final Fantasy series ranking video, I have no intention mm. of playing through it all the way again. What I'm- Two was really that bad? You mean to tell me this is worse than Final Fantasy 13? I feel like some people would like this more than eight. 2 is certainly bottom tier. The saga style leveling system is implemented terribly. Oh, they use that? That's wild to hear somebody say that. The saga style leveling system is implemented terribly. That's an oxymoron to a lot of people because a lot of people hate the saga style leveling system. I liked it though. I didn't I didn't have a problem with it. I mean, it was random and whatnot, but I mean, I I mean, I liked it more than I liked Oh, you know, every like 10 or 15 battles, I get a screen and all the numbers go up by two. I always liked uh, the saga leveling system because it was like random. You know, you never knew when like your strength or, you know, your intelligence or something would like randomly like level up and it would just it would be like a cool little random thing at the end of a battle. I liked that more. The other reason that I saw pop up a few times was that people were upset that Square Enix was selling each of these retro Final Fantasy games piecemeal instead of putting them into one big collection. And it's Oh, of course. Of, of, of course they did. Come on. Of course they did. Next up, we have Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered. Crystal Chronicles? I don't even know if I've heard of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Well, I mean, if it had a remake, it must have been pretty good. They remade it. Crystal Chronicles is a shit tier game. I've never been more upset that my roommate bought me a game. It was a gift. This game is so dog shit that it was given to you as a gift from your roommate and you were pissed. You got it for free and you felt insulted. It's bad I couldn't get past the first hour. Oh man. All right, let me see it. God, go! 4.9? No, bro scored lower than the original GameCube version, despite the fact- Whoa, 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 it, what? 
about this particular. So this is that remastered edition. So it was remastered, not remade in 2020. PS. Okay. The version is it's actually scored lower than the original. <laughs> How does that happen? February 9th, 2004. Jesus, guys. I graduated from high school three months after this. So gamers liked the original more than the critics and gamers hated the remaster more than the critics. Damn. Despite the fact that it got a pretty nice visual facelift. So what that tells me is that- Hold up. I think I saw the nice visuals he was talking about. GameCube version, despite the fact that it got a pretty nice visual face. So, that, so, so, so the, the improved physics wasn't enough? Like, they didn't save the, the, the remaster? The setup for the story is very simple. Essentially, okay. you're trying to collect this resource called myrrh, which I guess powers the crystal in your village. They don't go into a ton of detail about it, but you get this caravan and then you go out to where you can collect the myrrh. Now, once you okay. collect it three times, you bring it back to the village. One year goes by and you'll do it again and again until you eventually unlock access to battle the final boss. As far as the moment to moment gameplay goes, it's... That's the game. Did he like leave out 12 steps? Like I previously mentioned, you need to fill up your container three times. And when you go to a particular dungeon and complete it, you fill it up once. Now, once okay. you approach the dungeon, it'll tell you if it has myrrh and what particular elements might be in the dungeon. And it tells you an element because your container can change elements and you'll need to change elements to get past certain blockades throughout the world. And sometimes it's even a puzzle to figure out how to get the right elements so you can cross into other parts of the world. Now to beat- Oh, I can already see that being annoying as hell, bro. Like what? What's my what, what? What? What element is my bucket? And then this dungeon has this element. How can I switch it to the other element so that the puzzle on the overworld map? I gotta do the thing with the element. I need lightning for that. But but we got water over here, so I'm leaving this place. I need lightning, but my bucket is fire. Right? One of the really annoying things is if you want to switch actions, you have to toggle them with the shoulder buttons. It's not like you can hotkey them to the D-pad or something like that. And this can be so frustrating if you're low on life because you'll have to quickly cycle through your abilities to get the healing item. And sometimes you can't do it because you're trying to run away from an enemy. It's just very hectic and you feel oh. like you're at a disadvantage what? because of how- you remember, you remember all the buttons on the GameCube controllers? There's like fucking buttons everywhere on that motherfucker. You mean to tell me you gotta, you have to cycle through all your actions individually and they didn't fix that for the remaster? Bro, what were they thinking? The controls are like that because you were supposed to hook your Game Boy Advance to the system and use it as the controller. No idea why they didn't change that in the remaster. See, I, I want to say that's a lie. I, I, I want to wish for that to be a lie so bad, but I can't think of anything else that it could be. So that story might be true. That's horrible. That's a horrible story. However, after enough time with this game, I sort of got used to its weird, stiff combat. And after looking through it with a totally different lens, I kind of started enjoying it. Instead no, of looking at the- Don't lie. You ain't got a lie, bro. You ain't got a lie, bro. On this, we'll all give you a pass on this one, bro. You ain't got a lie. When I looked at it like that, it became much more enjoyable. And I feel like that's almost how the designers had it in mind because there's no way they would purposely design it to be this stiff. Okay, so so uh, if, if we just kind of part the Red Sea here and call it what it is, he just accepted that the game was, was shit. That's Buddhism, isn't it? Desire is the source of all suffering. I don't know. I mean, how bad is the game? It made this man, it brought this man to spiritual enlightenment, man. 10 out of 10, I found God. There's the fucking review. There's the review. 10 out of 10, I found God. I'm, I'm saying. It took me around 17 hours to complete the game. And what I find hilarious in the end credits is that it still says distributed by Nintendo, despite this being the PlayStation 5 version. And I can see... <laughs> There are some really annoying things that I can't believe never got fixed from the original game, particularly the combat, the menu system, and the fact that it only runs at 30 frames per second. But it Bro, honestly, I it just seems like when they remastered this game, they just up they just updated the graphics and that was it. They updated the graphics and they said, "Fuck it." What was their budget for this remaster? 10 bucks, 20? Now, is the 59 Metacritic score fair? Objectively, I think yeah. it probably is. Yeah. I had an okay enough time with this game, but there were so many annoying things about the original release that they just Bro, did. what are you talking about? Like, I mean, let's be real for a minute. It's a 59 is, is basically a six out of 10. I think a six out of 10 is a generous score for this. 
I think it's more than fair. Half my chat is saying they couldn't stand this game and they couldn't finish it and it was terrible. 4.9 is generous for this turd. Yeah, yeah, six out of 10 is still a pretty, it, it, six out of 10 is like a, a decent game. Maybe a game that like is good for like a niche audience specifically, but this just looks like dog shit no matter how you fucking, like no matter what perspective you take on it. Like you can wrap it up in whatever you want to wrap it in. It's still a turd, bro. Like there's like a six is generous for this. All right, next up we have Dirge of Cerberus final. Oh, it's time to talk about Dirge. Now I remember playing this just a few short months ago. We played, we did a full playthrough of Dirge of Cerberus in two streams back to back in the two days before Final Fantasy VII Rebirth launched. This game was so annoying to some people in my chat. They were like, I, 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 I hate this game so much. I won't even watch you play this dog shit. I actually kind of enjoyed Dirge, but let's see what they say about it. This was a third person shooter starring Vincent Valentine that released in 2006 for the PlayStation 2. Now, I do remember renting this game and thinking it was pretty fun, but also that it was pretty short. I think the novelty of it being a Final Fantasy spin-off carried a lot of weight for me, but considering mm -hmm. it's one of the five lowest rated Final Fantasy games of all time, I'm really curious to play through this all the way again to see why it got such low review scores. You know how earlier he was talking about that other game and he was like, I just accepted that it was shit and then I was able to enjoy it. Honestly, that was kind of me with Dirge. Like, I just accepted that it was not anything like the other Final Fantasy VII games that I played. I just accepted that Dirge was like its own thing. It was different. It was not necessarily good. And I had fun with it. I was able to have a good time with it, but only through acceptance. Overall, the story isn't anything to write home about. However, it was really cool to see a totally missable character in Vincent from the main game have his own game and deep dive into his backstory as a member of the Turks, as well as learn this bitch right here i can't even remember can somebody remind me of this bitch's name please i could not stand this woman lucretia is it Lu is it lucretia or lucrezia lucretia that's how you say it hold on i can't remember i can't remember how to say her name come on say her name Do the dramatic anime thing where you say her fucking name. Introduce yourself. Just say your name. Turks. Just say your name. Lucrezia Crescent. Lucrezia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God. Jesus. That was a nightmare. Lucrezia. I could not stand. Editor, please remove all of that. I could not stand Lucrezia. I don't care about the reticle that was on the screen driving me crazy. I don't care about like janky movement and janky shooting mechanics. And I don't care about like a, just a story that was so dumb in places. She was the most frustrating part of Dirge for me. I could not stand this character right here. She almost ruined the game and watching Vincent simp over her the whole game over her worthless, it's nothing, no redeemable qualities. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Learning more about Lucretia, Hojo's research assistant. Oh my God, he said the name two seconds later. I want to fucking die. In play, I think this is where the game really suffers and where reviewers felt like it deserved its low scores. Dirge oh yeah, this is where the game really suffers. No, it suffers from Lucretia. Lucretia. Lucrezia. Hold on. Lucrezia Crescent. Lucrezia. The actual shooting mechanics are incredibly awkward. This game came out after both Devil May Cry and Resident Evil 4. In fact, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, Dirge of Cerberus has light RPG elements. After completing a stage, you'll get a score as well as experience. Oh, yeah, points. yeah, and the you can leveling either use up those stuff. experience points to level up Vincent, which gives mm -hmm. him more hit points and he can do more melee damage. But you could also take that experience and convert that into gill. Now, you can use that gill for a variety of things. You can buy items like potions and phoenix. This, this, like, it, it, this wasn't done extremely well, but I'm glad it was in the game. This was pretty decent. This was, this was actually kind of fun deciding if I wanted to level him up or if I wanted to spend it, spend the gill. I did like that. Now, one last area that left me pretty disappointed was the music. Final Fantasy VII has some of the most iconic music of all time, and they didn't use any of it for this game. There's a lot of- <laughs> So rough, but yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the soundtrack for Dirge at all, to be honest with you. 
In my book, I don't personally think it deserves a 57. That seems really low, but for other people that don't have the same affinity for Final Fantasy VII as I do, I can understand where those scores might come from. Yeah, and last that's fair. And, and and what I'll say about the last the last thing that I'll say about Dirge is this: I agree with him. I don't think that Dirge is that is that bad, honestly. And the reason why is because I think that while Dirge was you know not a good game, it was so over the top and seemingly pretty self-aware of it and it managed to have fun with how shitty it was like the game itself it, it managed to have a little bit of fun with you know the fact that it was doo-doo baby it never was so frustrating that i just wanted to quit because something ridiculous would happen something stupid would happen and the frustration never outweighed the comedy of the situation so for me because it was at the very least making me laugh at how bad something was or how dumb something was instead of actually making me rage and frustration for that alone i wouldn't put it you know at like a, a 55 out of 100 or anything like that or or put it down with like that crystal chronicle shit that we were looking at earlier that's just me personally and last on this list, and definitely least, we have The Unholy Turd of the Final Fantasy series, a game with a 25 Metacritic score and was so bad that Square pulled it from digital stores and you can't even play it anymore. And that Final Fantasy 13 game of course is final fantasy all the bravest now like ah. i said but i don't need to actually play the game to explain to you why it's so bad because the gameplay is so simplistic and the monetization so scummy that i think anybody can it's, it's a mobile game i feel like it shouldn't even count like a, like of, of course it's dog shit not that it, not that a mobile game can't be good there's good mobile games now right but like a mobile trash game it's almost like what are what are we talking about what's what's the point of talking about this like of course it was they they just shit out something for some free money so it's like what are we talking about like dirge is a real conversation this is just meh if one of your troops gets knocked out, they're on a long cooldown timer until you can use them for another battle. And the game is constantly asking you oh, if you want to revive all your characters for 99 cents. Hey, hey, hey. Phoenix Downs costing real world money? Now, now Square, you're on to something. This was a giant embarrassment, not only for the Final Fantasy series, but Square Enix on a whole. I know this was a time where studios were trying to figure out mobile games, and this may have seemed like a good idea at the time, but the way all these mechanics were implemented... Nah, bro, don't. I, I don't care if this was like, oh, mobile games were just becoming a thing, and, you know, we weren't really sure how to go about make... No, selfish selfishness and greed and, like, anti-consumer behavior is what it is and has been what it's been for like all of time essentially like it's not a mistake that the game was so fucking predatory here's how these five games were originally ranked based on their metacritic score king's tale 65 263 crystal chronicles 59 crystal chronicles is above dirge no bro no what no 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 how how did they put crystal chronicles above dirge bro that's crazy that's criminal right there be sure to subscribe because i have a ton more coming soon that was fun to watch that was fun to watch what did you what did you guys think of that are there uh are there any final fantasy games you think should have been on that that list i'm a big 15 hater but a lot of people like it i mean I played the first few hours of 15 and I really liked it. I don't remember anything about it. I remember I liked what I played of it. You know, I do want to play it again. Eight, you know, eight's got its lovers and its haters. 13 has lovers and haters. So I'm not really surprised that they weren't up there. I'm almost kind of surprised Lightning Returns because I've always heard Lightning Returns is terrible. Like what is, what is the score on Lightning Returns actually? Oh, oh yeah. It's not good. 66 from critics, 6.1 from fans. And I remember when they announced Lightning Returns, we were so mad because after 13 and 13 2, we were all like, please God move on from this. I remember people making memes of this back in like 2012, 2013 when, when it was announced. I remember people making memes like about how much we wanted them to just move on. And they were like, lightning returns here you go now does it deserve i wonder how good the story uh, what, what is this what is this come on we're not that old yet dog what
I had been alive for years when this game was made. I, I was like four or five years old. I don't I don't look like that. What is this? What the fuck is the, fuck, the disrespect, bro?